Hi and welcome to this week's catalog with me. Uh, so last week we did this model, which is uh, working great. So um, there is just uh, a measurement that I wanted to change. Let's just start off with that really quickly. So I just loaded up the previous scene. I printed this one. Uh, but what I want to do now is move one of the measurements. I, I noticed it was a little bit too tight. So what I can do is that I just click on the surface that I want to change. I right click and then um, push it. So I cannot push this, this uh, part, for example. So I know that it was a little bit too, uh, too tight uh, over the top. So I'm just going to increase this measurement. So there we go. We just changed the value. But that's not why we're here today. So hey, today we want to start off with a new product. So this is the lesson number two or catalog number two. And today I want to solve a problem uh, here in my home as well. So the idea here is that we take a, um, uh, my shower cabin, which has a, a sec secondary pipe for the bathtub, but there's no connection there. So I want to create like a um, directional flow. So instead of just having the flow go completely down, uh, hitting the wall, missing the bathtub, I want to kind of redirect the flow. So to do that, we'll have to head into the bathroom. So in my bathroom, I have a problem here. They didn't deliver um, my ca cabin here with a adapter for the tub, so I always have to use the um, uh, the hose for that, and I don't want to do that. So I want to print some sort of solution to take this part and just make sure that it goes into the bathtub and not uh, outside the wall over there. So let's just measure this here. I did it before. It's a little bit tricky to do with one hand, but I know it's around, let's see here. Yeah, it's around 26 millimeters, almost. We'll also investigate how far we can go. So we can go around eight millimeters, let's say that. Now, I know that there are threads here, so I kind of want to use those, but we'll, we'll see how, how good of a print we can do. So either we use the threads or we try to do something more creative to get that, um, uh, to get something to, to be really tight around that. So let's head over to the computer and start cutting. So um, first of all, we have a um, the biggest part here that we want to work with. Uh, we do know the measurement, so it's around 26 millimeters. So let's say 26 for now. And we also want to create a, like an outer shell here and we want it to be a little bit thick. Um, it, it has a lot of pressure in it and I want to be able to use all uh, of the, the flow with the water. So let's say that it is uh, 26, so let's say 35 maybe, does that look good? Maybe maybe 38, I don't know why. That sounds good. So we also then want this to, um, um, to go over to some sort of nozzle. Um, so let's just start off with extruding this upwards. And we had around eight millimeters. That was what I said. And then we'll create some sort of um, a new design here. Let's say I want it to be a little bit tight and I need to have something that can kind of slot over here. Maybe we can sort it with, uh, because circles are tricky to print. Maybe we can do some sort of uh, Central base, that's what I'm thinking. Let's lock this one. So 38 by enter. Mm. Let's try that again. I know that one measurements need to be 38, so let's lock that and then we'll, we'll probably take it 38 there as well. And we now have a, uh, a new shape here that we can extrude down. Oops, I want to add those two. This now lets us uh, redirect this flow here if we want to. Hmm. Maybe we can do this like a loft. Not completely sure what I want to, but let's say... Oh yeah, we can screw this together with another... Hmm. Could use like screws here. So um, maybe three and threes. So 3.1 for it to be a little bit safe. 
And I also want to create a pattern of those with the sketch, patterns, objects, this one, directions. Well, this one, and also this way, the two. Don't do. There we go. That looks good. So we can just attach. I mean, if, if you want to be real correct, we can do like a um, uh, like like a what's it called? No, let's extrude later. I want to create here a new part. So I'm gonna say this as and create a new body here. So we'll extrude this again. But we won't join it. We'll, we'll create a new um, component. So there we go. Let's work with this component. So we just activate that, that component there. And the ID now is to create some sort of tube here. Maybe we can do... Let's just offset this here. No, let's, uh, let's create a form. And we can control that nozzle much better. So let's see here. Um, create a new guest cylinder is the best. Let's create it on this with a diameter. Why does it say 26? Yeah, sorry, it's supposed to. Let's drag that down and uh, no, 26 is the correct. Great, now let's edit this form. And we'll, we'll just do this the simple way at the beginning, just by moving these around a little bit. We'll be doing something like that. Now, again, I'm no expert in, in pipe flows, but this looks good to me. Might be, might wanna increase this edge here. I don't want to accelerate the flow. Oops, that, that look weird. How did that become like that? This is the angle I want to move, and I want to move this. So, something like that. Let's just make a base model first. Now, what I can do with this one is that I actually create like a um, like a thickness on this one. So we can thicken this shape and uh, let's do that a few millimeters. Thicken type sharp, I guess it's good. Something like that. And we can then finish this form. We now have a pipe and in this case, I'm gonna just make the, the end a little bit softer here. Um, and let's join these two parts. It's these two bodies here. We'll create a combine, we'll modify these, combine those, and they're now one body. Nice. Now what we can do is that we go back to this part, so we'll activate this first one, and we'll take the extrude on these now. Just to make sure that we get them all the way, should be four of them. Which one is missing? That one is missing. So there we go, now we get the screws all the way through which means that we now have two bodies that we can join together. What I might want to do is create a... Um, maybe I want to do like a small um, locking mechanism. So let's do here... I don't know, yeah, 30. So the idea here is that I take this circle and I extrude that down. Hmm, I have to think now. If we extrude this down by one millimeter, like so, and we then chamfer this one here. The idea now is to create some sort of locking mechanism here. So let's chamfer that. And then we have this body. And we'll create the same here. So uh, 30 millimeters. 
Actually, what I want to do first that I didn't show you before is how we can create the thread series. I'm just going to stop that. Now, um, in the crate here, you have actually, actually have thread parts. So we'll start off with that. So we'll, we'll press here. Now, I did try this out before, so I already uh, did a little bit of research and I tried to get the right pipe connector. Now, I won't have any idea at all if this is correct, but um, let's, let's just assume that it is. And um, I'm pretty sure it was, let's see here, design. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is correct. Let's, let's try it out. In worst case, we can always go back down here and edit this feature in case I totally screwed up. And if I did, please let me know. Um, anyways, we're gonna try that. So now we have that function. Now I also want to take this and extrude it down, just like I did with, um, sorry, not that part, this part. I want to extrude that down, let's say one millimeter, and I want to chamfer this here, like so. So now you see what I'm going for. I now have a, um, let's do a section analyst, see if we can go down here. You see that I'm creating uh, some sort of gap here, so it, it makes the design go together. So in case um, they shouldn't, sure it might leak a little bit, but the idea here is that it doesn't leak and uh, that it will get screwed, screwed tight together. Um, okay, so I think that's it. That, that's our two printed parts. It's the simplest way possible. What I could do is with this part down here, I could actually um, do a few combos. So let's see here if I can take this part and actually edit this. And it's based on a sketch. Let's see which sketch it is. Is it that sketch, right? So let's change this sketch. The idea here is that we actually make it so that this pattern of holes that we actually do, um, let's see here, center to center, what was it, 22.6, so this here, let's, sorry, 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 let's do a circular pattern, objects, this one, this one, this one and this one. Center point there. Yes, a few degrees here. Mm, there we go. So what this will mean is that we now can twist this around. We can rotate it a lot and it will still be in the right spots. So let's go back to this one here. Edit feature and please show me the different sketches. Ah, uh, okay, made it like a new body. So um, again, let's just, hmm. okay, let's hide this one. And Oh, okay, so those sketches are over there. Let's activate this one here. We'll take all of these sketches, we'll hide the body, by the way. So, all of these sketches and now if we extrude those what do we get awesome let's show this one here again we want to extrude over here we want to join new body correct i will hide that sketch we'll drag this down to this component and in this component we'll remove this whole part, so let's just remove that. And we then take this one, and we can now join those two together. Modify, combine, join, and there we go, now we have a body here. So, as I said, the plan here is now that, you see that the screws align here? And the idea here now is that if we take this body, and we put it in the center, of course, Where's the center? There's the center. Hello, pivots. Put it in the center, please. There we go. 
Okay, so the idea here is now that if we rotate this, it will line up. So you can see that the bottom actually deflects in different directions. So when I tighten this, I should be able to adjust it later. At least that's the goal. Okay, so I think that's it. We can, uh, of course, polish up some parts. But everything goes in together. Let's do a final inspection here of the selection. So this goes in and there's still the joint in the middle. Awesome. And these parts are all printable. Um, for this part here, uh, you might need some support. You do need some support, sorry, in these, uh, in these areas because I want to print it with this side down. I could print it in the other side. I could print it with this down, but then we get a little bit of issues with, you see, this part sticking up. So instead of clearing supports um, where I need to have a good fit, I want to clear the support on this side where I don't need it at all. So that's, that's our two STL files ready to print and ready to try them out. So I hope this video showed you a little bit of the catalog and what I was thinking while modeling and, and the whole plan. And in next episode, we'll, we'll have a visit back in the previous two designs and see how they worked out. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.